Clinton not guilty on all counts. That's a verdict handed down in the high-profile Shane Gibson bribery trial earlier this afternoon. The nine jurors in the Shane Gibson bribery trial began their deliberations at 3.20 this afternoon, and an hour and 40 minutes later at 5.05, the jury returned with not guilty verdicts on all 13 of the 15 counts. Counts six and seven were returned eight to one. Former cabinet minister and parliamentarian Shane Gibson then learned he was acquitted and discharged on 15 counts of bribery. A tearful Shane Gibson thanked God for helping him to, do, to beat the 15 charges facing him in his bribery trial Wednesday evening. The former cabinet minister says throughout the ordeal, it felt like all forces were working against him, but he expressed gratitude to his family, legal team and supporters for backing him. His attorney, Keith NyQC, also commented on the victory. You know, nobody knows how many hours go into something like this. Right. Literally how many hours. Right. Every single day we left court, we went to the hotel and we met. And we went over every single piece of evidence, every single piece of transcript. Sometimes two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning, my lawyer, Mr. Knight and Owen still up, working. Sometimes we would leave the hotel, Damien and I have, um, and Fish. Sometimes two, three o'clock in the morning, we leave the hotel. Along with my personal assistant, Mr. Ray Hamilton, yeah. who oh, did yeah, an excellent yes, job yes, yes. supporting us. Firstly, want to thank the legal team because I don't want anybody to believe that I did this on my own. No, it was full support from the legal team. Progressive Liberal Party leader Philip Davis also reflected on the not guilty verdict. This not guilty verdict is a miracle. My colleagues and I have prayed for this moment and we are pleased that the jury saw it the way we had, we had been seeing it. This case should never have been brought. It should not have gone to the jury. It was clear from the start that this was simply Victor's justice, the political party in power taking advantage of its position as guardians of the state to oppress the political minority.